Takes to the sky like a bird in flight And who will be her lover? All your life you've never seen a woman Taken by the wind Would you stay if she promised you heaven? Will you ever win? Okay, so hello. I have been working and riding all day. My hair's a mess. My Well, my whole body's a mess. But anyways, today I wanted to do a video on some of my favorite tack and clothing and some other things are in there too. So I get a lot of questions about the tack that I use and my saddle, for instance, and everything like that. Um, 2020 is going to be coming to an end soon, so I thought it would be a good time to make it. And I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so we're just starting out small with my McTarnahan's Green Cool Gel. This is a liniment, so I use this on Dita after a hard ride or especially after a run on this muscles that she typically might get sore on and it helps her a lot so I really do like this and it is affordable I've got it off Amazon and next we've got my professionals choice comfort fit fly mask Dita is notorious for ripping her fly masks off so this has been a game changer for her because she I think has only taken it off once and that was quite a while ago she hasn't taken it off recently at all and it looks really cool it seems comfortable love it next we've got these boots from cavallo so these are just black plain my sister actually got these and then she stopped using them so i took them i love how high up they go without being restricting and then they have that big strap there which i think really evens out the pressure and then my favorite thing about them is that they have this big plastic part on the inside and so I feel like that would give extra support and then also if your horse clips the inside of their leg with their other foot they're not going to do damage. So my next favorite thing is this 2012 AQHA model da granddaughter of Dash to Fame. Um, no <laughs> anyways just kidding Dita is obviously one of my favorites but you can only there's only one and I already have it so I'm sorry <laughs> but no what I'm actually talking about is my mule tape halter so I've had this for a couple of years um, I use it every day on Dita it used to be purple it's now faded to kind of a pink color but this is mule tape I bought this from Amanda's halters you can find her on Facebook I will also link everything down below so watch out for that but I really love this halter um, super durable but comfortable and soft at the same time so I love them Next item, this is expensive. They're about $500 new, but I'm going to tell you something. I bought this for $50 off of Facebook Marketplace. So this is a CSI pad and I do need to get a new liner for it, but I use it all the time and it's holding up amazing and it makes my, I mean, it's, it's just an amazing pad. I highly recommend if you can find one used. So onto my head stall. This is kind of just plain, but I absolutely love it. I do prefer more of a plain setup. I don't like really colorful and crazy. I like to keep it simple, plain, and light, but I love this great quality. It's from Frontier Western Shop. Definitely look them up. Um, and then I'm also going to show you my reins, which are also mule tape. You can find reins like these from Amanda's Halters again. They're just plain, not very long, no knots, but you can specify what you would like if you prefer knots or or if you prefer a color i just got white but i use these for every single run that i make on dita so my next item is a little bit more expensive i thought that i would put it in because i get so many questions but this is my 3c c3 barrel saddle by jeff smith so i also bought this used so honestly keep your eye out because you can find them you just might have to do a little bit more searching and keep your eye out i love the details on this saddle um, beautifully made. It's all rough out. It's again pretty simple and plain but I think it's beautiful. You can see the C3 logo there on the Latigo Keeper. And again with the detailing. This is such beautiful details. I love it. Um, these saddles are so well made. I feel like if you buy something from Jeff Smith you will never be disappointed. So I definitely recommend it. I have put so many hours of riding into this saddle and if I rough it out a li little bit with a wire brush, it still looks new. So, and I got it used, so that really should say something. Um, they do come with back cinches, so that's another plus, and they're awesome quality as well. I have my um, mohair cinch to match, but I'm not going to put that in my video. <laughs> um, 
but yeah so this is just a jeff smith barrel saddle so moving on to more clothing items these are my favorite shoes ever these are moccasins by twisted x these are so comfortable once you break them in they literally like mold to your feet and i wear these like every day basically in the summer so i definitely pr um, recommend them they're also really comfortable if you're doing a long drive um i wouldn't recommend them for riding but each to each their own and then yeah there's my dog being crazy so this is the next clothing thing i'm going to do this is more casual but it's this carhartt hoodie carhartt makes very good quality stuff they are a little pricier so i don't have a lot of it but and then this is my wild cactus hat i'm going to talk about later if you do live in a colder environment i definitely recommend carhartt so these are super thick and comfortable and i don't know where i'd be without it i wear it all the time even though this is my only carhartt hoodie crying <laughs> If you are really cold, you can also pop one of these really cute headbands on top. I love this. This is, I think, by Denver Hayes. I don't really know. Um, but if you live in a cold place, this just really helps to keep your ears cold or warm. <laughs> and then you can also just wear it without a hat. I would usually put my hair in a ponytail, but I didn't want to waste time. And it looks like a mess, but just ignore it. Um, <laughs> so this is a game changer for me because... It keeps me so warm in the winter and yeah I'm moving to Alberta so I'll definitely be taking this with me really good quality super thick material very soft in the inside but you can buy these anywhere and they come in a variety of different styles colors patterns etc so that's basically it for that so to dive a little deeper into my hat that I was just wearing this is a hat by wild cactus design company so this is a super cute hat. I get so many compliments on it. It's just cheetah print on the front and then it has that black mesh in the bottom. It is also adjustable, although I do have electrical tape on it because apparently my head's really small or something. I don't know. Um, but it's just a really cute, good quality hat and that is real leather as well. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. So if you're on a budget, listen up because this is for you. I am also on a budget because I buy everything myself and I am not that old but this shirt i got off amazon for about 15 dollars. i will link it down below it i have gotten so many compliments on it and i've actually only worn it once so i just want to say definitely you don't have to pay a lot of money for a good rodeo shirt because these are just as cute um very thin material but it's really good for in the summer when it's super hot and it looks really fancy honestly i love this shirt so much so much and they have even more patterns on the website and everything so definitely check them out along with that i added this hat into this video because i also found this on facebook marketplace for a steal of a deal so definitely be patient if you want something because i'm sure you can find it used and this is an american hat company hat super good good quality i've worn this a lot and it's never let me down i've also never had a hat fall off of my head actually during a run so i guess that's another thing to mention <laughs> and then if you're wanting to spend a little bit more on a shirt cinch is obviously i mean i can't say enough good things about them cinch shirts are beautiful and such good quality and comfortable and they come in so many different patterns and colors you cannot compare but i mean they are a little bit more on the pricey side definitely worth it but if you do want more variety in your shirts then you might want to buy something cheaper as well beautiful pattern and details so i'm also going to show you the hat that i bought this year so this is the first felt hat that i've actually ever bought um and it's just a brown felt hat by stetson the hat band is also by wild child and i'm going to put their facebook page down below as well so check them out i i love the hat band it's beautiful but this is just a basic stetson hat it was probably the cheapest one i could find but you know i it was something i wanted for a long time so i'm really happy that i was able to get that this year so that is going to be it for this video i really hope that you liked it um i know it's not a barrel racing vlog or anything but i do have some really big barrel races coming up soon so subscribe if you don't want to miss those that should be really exciting i'm super excited <laughs> 
um and yeah thank you so much for watching also go hug your horse <laughs> Dita so cute she's the sweetest